in other news, R&B and gospel recording artist Kelly Price took to her social media to say this about at least one of three people that she was a judge on a show with. These people are gospel recording artists. She goes to say that the lives they live are despicable, disgusting. So I'm not here to have an opinion because I don't know enough information to form one. I don't know what her definition of despicable is or her definition of disgusting or not a Christian life. I don't know that. So she also said that a lot of preachers wanted to get in her bed or have her in their bed. I'm not going to say that isn't true. I've even experienced that. However, all of this is alleged. And if she decides to give us more information, um, as I find more information, I will bring it to you guys. I'm one of the very few artists who have been able to record and tour with both gospel and R&B artists. And the lives that are lived by the people that you worship are despicable and disgusting. My heart was broken when I saw the things that happened on the road with a lot of these artists. Doing shows with these artists, all kinds of stuff. My heart was broken because there was still a part of me that believed that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. That's biblical also. It took for me to tour and to work and to do shows with these artists that call themselves gospel artists and preachers who tried to get in my bed. That's another story. You won't get it for free. Refuse to give that for free. Some preachers that's all over your timeline and in your YouTube right now that if they could have gotten me in my bed or in their bed, they would have. But I don't play those games. Fuck a man. I fear God. I fear God. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you for your support. I'm not even about calling out names. People can assume what they want to assume. Wasn't but for an artist. On <laughs> the show that I was a judge on. I was on a show with Kirk Franklin, Erica Campbell, Jonathan McReynolds, and there was me. My husband was with me at work every day. And I'm going to leave that right there. God bless y'all. And good night. New music in 2024.